All right, hey YouTube. All right, this video here is just to show proof that uh, once you've upgraded to version 4.2, you can still use the Homebrew, all the other apps that you originally had if they got erased or whatever the case may be. Um, all right, so first of all, I'm gonna prove that this is version 4.2. Alright, if you can see that, version 4.2. Alright, let's get back. Alright, right now, I'll show you the homebrew channel. Right there, there's nothing. There's no, no SD card in right now. I'll show you that here in a second. So let's go back. Once you have these, uh, the WAD manager installed and the, the Neo, Neo Gamma backup loader, that's all you really need to load your games so alright let me show you that this is working let's go over here like I said once you have it installed you do not need the SD card in I'll show you right now Whoops. no no SD card alright and let's just pick a game all these are working a hundred percent should be right there we super monkey ball okay there's no glitching no whatever alright let's go back let's go to Neo Gamma start okay launch game then you're gonna hear your Wii make some noises it's all good alright and there's your game and uh, I'll go ahead and go a little further, make sure or show you guys that it actually does work. Just make sure you uh, burn your games on DVD R minuses at 4x. And use image burn. And there it is. All working good. All right, let's go back. And uh, those of you that use the homebrew channel and like whatever apps you want or whatever, just put them on your SD card like I uh, assume you originally did before you lost them or whatever. And uh, they'll be there. Here, I'll show you that real quick. Put in the SD card. Okay. Back over here in the homebrew. Click on that. Start it up. Alright, and there's all the things that I have personally on my SD card. Uh, really, the only thing I do use is the uh, Neo Gamma, just because that's all I need to load my game, so I don't really care about any of the other apps, but I have them downloaded anyway and on my SD card just in case. Um, so there you go, and whatever apps you wanted, like the DVDX, and I think for version 4.2, you're going to need DVX 2.0. So just a thought, you have to look that up. But uh, yeah. Everything is working, and uh, just to show you again, this is version 4.2. There it is, version 4.2 with your homebrew. So those of you that finding all this stuff about version 4.2 not being able to be modded soft modded uh, they're wrong because you can alright thanks for watching